Hey folks, welcome back to Busted Stud Garage. We've got a situation here with this light truck tire. It's kind of a heavy tire on a sort of a big wheel, so it's difficult to balance. It takes a lot of weight. And what we end up with is uh, there's a little bit of run out or hop in this tire. So even though we can balance it, it takes quite a bit of weight to balance it, but it still hops a little bit. So at, at low speeds, you can really feel that. It's kind of like, uh, I equate it to like riding a horse. You can feel a little bit of bounce. So we're gonna to try to use the uh, OPT setting on this machine to see if we can rotate the tire to match the, the uh, weight of the wheel and balance it that way. And then it should straighten that situation out. So stick with us and we'll walk you through it. So the first thing I did was I stripped the weights off the wheel, gave it a spin. You know, that, that's not a crazy amount of weight, but it's uh, the, the run out is a little too much for my comfort. So we're going to see if we can fix that. First thing you want to do on this machine is press the OPT button. And that's going to give you this readout here. And then we're going to press the start key. Let's see what happens. All right, so we got some numbers there. Figure out what that means. Hold on a second. We're gonna mark this tire. Uh, I'm gonna put an A right here. And we'll use the valve stem, that's gonna be B. So we got A and B. Uh, that's gonna be the location where we're gonna dismount the tire and put the A 180 degrees down here. Okay, back on the balancer, we're going to press the start key. All right, so now we're going to mark uh, position C. That's going to be, uh, let's see if you can see it. When the lights on the machine go to the opposite ends on the left and the right. Come on, oh, did we get it? It's gonna be around here somewhere. Maybe that's it. I'm gonna say it's right there, in between the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna mark that C. On the outside, I suppose. Put a C right here. Now, it wants D, which I suppose is the lights in the center. Right there. We're gonna make that D. Okay. D on the rim. Make a mark at the rim for D and a tire for C, okay? So this is going to be D on the rim and C on the tire. And then mount it again so these two points overlap with each other. Roger that. Back to the tire machine. All right, back at the balancer, we're gonna spin it up. Now we've got the uh, the D position is, or the C is where the D, C on the tire is to D on the wheel. And uh, according to the instructions, this ought to be less unbalanced weight than it was before. So let's give her a spin and see what we get. All right, so we got one ounce and two ounce. 
which if you compare that to the previous, that is a little bit better. So I'm gonna balance this up. I am kind of satisfied right now that the, uh, the actual runout we we're trying to get rid of is pretty much fixed. It's hard to see here, but uh, it looks a lot better. I'm gonna balance this up and mount it uh, on the car and we'll take it for a test drive. Thanks for watching. I hope you have success with this process. And uh, if you like this kind of video, please subscribe and we'll have a lot more great stuff in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Not too bad. One quarter ounce for a big tire like this. I'll take that.